Where did ancient Romans go for fun? They went to the Colosseum in Rome. They watched fights in this big and beautiful stadium. The fights were with gladiators and wild animals like lions, crocodiles, rhinos, and even elephants. The Colosseum wasn't fun for everyone. About five hundred thousand people and one million wild animals died there. About two thousand years ago, Rome was a very important city. The Colosseum was the most fantastic building in the city. It was big enough for more than fifty thousand people. The Colosseum had many arches. There were about eighty big arches to let people in and out. There was also a cloth roof to protect people from sun and rain. Later, two earthquakes destroyed some of the Colosseum. Then people took stones from the Colosseum to build many other buildings in Rome. So the building that we can see today gives only an idea of how beautiful it was in the past. Thousands of tourists visit the Colosseum every year. The Taj Mahal is in India. It looks like a palace, but it's a tomb. It's one of the most beautiful tombs in the world. There are gardens and fountains around the building. The tomb is made of twenty-eight types of stone and jewel from all over India and other countries. Most of the tomb is made of a beautiful white stone called marble. About twenty thousand people built the Taj Mahal, and it took twenty-two years. More than a thousand elephants helped to move the stones for the building. The Taj Mahal was built about four hundred years ago. The Emperor Shah Jahan built it for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. She died when she had her fourteenth baby. Shah Jahan was very sad. So he built the Taj Mahal to remember his wife. Later, Shah Jahan's son wanted to be the emperor, so he put his father into prison. When Shah Jahan died, people put his body in the Taj Mahal, so that he was with his wife forever. About two thousand years ago, the ancient Romans brought ice and snow from the mountains and mixed it with fruit and honey. About one thousand five hundred years ago, people in China made desserts with ice and milk. The soft ice cream that we eat today was probably invented in Europe about four hundred years ago. Fruit ices were popular in Europe. Then people started to add cream. They put the cream in a metal bowl with sugar. Then they froze it in a bucket of ice. This was hard work because they had to keep mixing the cream by hand. In 1843, an American woman named Nancy Johnson invented an ice cream machine. Seven years later. The first ice cream factory opened in Baltimore, in the USA. Billions of years ago, bacteria were some of the first living things on Earth. Bacteria are microbes that live everywhere, and there are many different types. Some bacteria make us sick, and some are very useful. Bacteria can eat almost anything. Some feed on waste, some eat oil, and some eat the food between people's teeth.
bacteria are many different shapes. Some are like rods, some are like balls, and some are curly. Some have flagella that look like tiny hairs. These move in different directions to help the bacteria to move around. Bacteria live in places like glaciers, high mountains, and volcanoes, where most other living things can't survive. Plants need clean air and water to grow. Polluted air and water can damage them. Global warming is also a problem. Some plants cannot grow in their usual place if the temperature gets too high, or if there is extreme weather, like floods. We are using too many trees. Big international companies cut down huge numbers of trees for wood to make furniture or paper. Sometimes they cut down trees in rainforests to make space to grow crops or to raise cattle, so that they can produce cheap food like palm oil and hamburgers. Another reason that social networking sites are popular is because the users write what is on the site. In the past, websites only had information for users to read. In this way, websites were like newspapers or television. All of the communication went in only one direction, from the website to the users. In the past. The average person didn't contribute to the websites. Today, the internet is more interactive than it was in the past. Now, anyone can have their own website, blog, or page on sites like Facebook. Readers are now also writers and can easily add material to the web. People can express their own ideas. And they can put their own experiences online. When there isn't much ground, we can build tall buildings. Very tall buildings are called skyscrapers. The first skyscraper was the Home Insurance Building. It was built in Chicago, in the USA, in 1885. It was 42 meters tall. The tallest skyscrapers are now much taller than this. The Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, are the tallest twin buildings. There is a bridge between the two towers called. A sky bridge. One of the tallest skyscrapers is the Burj Dubai. It's in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. It's eight hundred and eighteen meters tall. That's nearly a kilometer. It's made of a special, strong concrete called reinforced concrete. The Burj Dubai has apartments, shops, swimming pools, hotels, restaurants, and a library. It's like a very tall town. Sometimes a successful invention happens by accident. The tea bag, for example. Thomas Sullivan introduced tea bags to the world in 1908. He was a New York tea importer. He sent tea to his clients in tin cans, but tin was so heavy and expensive that he needed a more convenient way to send it. So he designed inexpensive bags to hold the tea leaves and sent them instead. Thomas's customers were supposed to open the bags and put the leaves in hot water. Instead, they used the entire bag. But this innovation worked.
Immediately, tea bags proved to be a big success. Good habits are important for living a healthy life. Bad habits are difficult to break. So, it's important to live a life of good, healthy habits. That's why I have made a list of healthy habits and how to keep them. Habit 1 Eat healthy. How? Eat a variety of fruit and vegetables and drink water often. Eat junk food like chips and cookies only occasionally. Habit 2 Always be polite and kind. How? I say please and thank you frequently, and I always share with my friends. I help people when they need help before they ask. We can make compost with some of our food waste. We can do this at home. The compost helps plants to grow in the garden. In a compost bin, Worms eat the waste and make it into compost. In many places, people collect food waste from homes, stores, and restaurants. Machines called biodigesters use the food waste to make compost for farms. When the food decomposes, it makes a gas. People can use this gas to cook with or to make electricity. We can reduce waste and save money when we only buy food that we need. We should think carefully about what food we need to buy so that we don't waste it.